All right, Shalom, Makim, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Wakakudash, and double honors to the apostles and the others of Great Millstone that rule well and teach well, and sincere salutations to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and sincerity to wake up the hopeful elect, Shalom. All right, so pretty much I just want to go into this article, all right, that was posted on Popular Mechanics. All right, and this is about our right, Michigan. All right, how they passed the bill uh, for the protection of microchips, man. All right, so people can voluntarily, all right, get a microchip implant at their work, at their place of work. All right, and it was posted by Courtney Linder on July 1st, 2020. Your prophecy deemed by Apostle Tahar through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so the article says, if you adopted your pet from a rescue shelter, they probably have a microchip embedded just beneath the skin on the back of their neck. It's a tiny radio frequency identification chip that's no longer than a grain of rice. And it help you and it helps you find your furry friend if they ever get lost. Now in a strange twist, you could also have a microchip just like it, as some companies have adopted the tracking technology in Liu of keys or traditional building access badges. Last week, however, the Michigan House of Representatives took a preemptive, a preemptive strike against the technology, passing a bill to make the microchips voluntary in, that, in the state. The Microchip Protection Act would, would allow Michigan employers to use microchipping, but could in no way force employees to participate. With the weight of technology has increased over the years and as it continues to grow, it's important Michigan job providers balance the interests of the company with their employees' expectation of privacy. Representative Bronna Kell, the Republican who, spo who sponsored the bill, said in press statement. She continued, microchipping has been brought up in many conversations as companies across the country uh, Salakia, <clears throat> across the country are exploring cost-effective ways to increase workplace effi efficiency while these miniature devices are on the rise. So are the calls of workers to have their privacy protected. Worker, microchip, worker microchips have first made headlines in 2017 when 50 out of 80 employees at a Wisconsin company called Three Square Market voluntarily opt into the implant at a chip party. In a press release at the time, the company said employees had the option to voluntary, voluntarily implant an RFID chip microchip between the thumb and forefinger underneath the skin that does not have tracking capabilities and will allow employees to make purchases in the company's break room, market, break room market, open doors, log into computers, and using and use use copying machines all right so i so pretty much all right that, that was the main point of this article all right and all this is pretty much man they trying to make it to where it is to where people will want it man all right putting that conveniency in it all right because they've been trying to make it seem like it's less work you have you have to do all right by having these chills man by not worrying about having keys say if you lost your keys all right, to your car, so you can't get in your car without the keys. But now they're trying to say if you had this chip, all right, you won't need your keys to you. All you need is the chip, all right, to unlock your doors and you can drive. All right, it's all about convenience, man. All right, and that's what these devils are trying to do, man. All right, you read, all right, like we just read, all right, in the uh, paragraph, I'm gonna read it again, and will allow employees to perch to make purchases in the company's break room market. Open doors, log in computers, and use copying machines, man. And all that is convenient, all right? Conveniency, man. All right, and that's what they, these devils all right, are going to try to use to get people, all right, to take these chips, man. All right, so let's get 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. All right, least Satan, least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right, one of his devices... Or is using convenience. All right, to implement, it's going to be to use convenience to uh, use to promote. All right, that marketer man saying it makes your life easier. Say if you lose your debit card and you can't make a purchase, or you'll have that marketer in your hand. All right, but we all know. All right, 
and with the, especially the brothers within this truth that the mark of the beast are is in fact that RFID chip that Esau is coming with, man. All right, you see how they pass it. <clears throat> all right, you see how they're passing laws, all right, and bills to protect that microchip, man. All right, so this we're coming into the times where, all right, that microchip isn't going to be voluntary anymore. All right, it's going to be forced, all right, upon the world, man. All right, Daniel 8 and 25. All right, and through his policy, he also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. So like you, all right, and pretty much that point, all right, was the first part, all right, and through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. All right, policy, man, his laws, all right, these bills that he's passing to protect these 5G towers, all right, and also to protect the RFID chip. All right, he's and he's cause he's using his policy, his laws, all right, to cause that his that craft, man, all right, his craftiness, his wickedness, man, to prosper. All right, and on top of that, because the earth, all right, was given to Esau by the Most High, all right, to fulfill prophecy, man. All right, you read in Job nine twenty four, the earth is given over into the hand of the wicked; he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? <clears throat> All right, so these devils, man, all right, they're using these laws, all right, to uh, protect, all right, their wickedness, man, so that they can normalize their wickedness. They're using laws, all right, to protect over there. Like you see with this LGBTQ, however you say it, man, these alphabet, all right, these alphabet communities, all right, they, what, they pass laws to protect them. All right, so they're, pa they're using these laws to protect their wickedness, man. All right, that's what the same thing they're doing with these 5G towers, all right, and the RFID chip, because they work hand in hand, man. All right, because they need the 5G towers to keep up with the microchip so they can keep track of all the data. All right, and just like in that article, are right, they trying to say that your privacy uh, will be protected, but it won't because it's tracking. It's going to track uh, what you spend, where you spend it, how you spend it. All right, no matter how they try to say it's, uh, your privacy is going to be protected, it is not. All right, they might tell you that as a cover-up, but behind the scenes, we all know this devil or right, is tracking. Or right, just like your phones. Or right, they track you go to your phone, or right, you'll see where all, you'll see where you have been a whole day. Your phone has been it's like a tracking device already, man. Alright, so these devils all right, are trying to implement this market of beast so that they can track, alright, and to know and to keep track of everything, man. Alright. What it says thou let me see. Yeah, let me see if I can get it real quick. Cause these devils are right, want to know everything, man. They don't want to. They don't want to have no secrets, man. All right, these devils want to know your personal life and then your thoughts. All right, cause that's ultimately all right what they're trying to do, man. All right, they're trying to get inside your head and make you a slave, man. All right, so this is Ezekiel twenty-eight and three. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. All right, and you can't hide anything from Esau because he has them satellites tracking uh, you through your phones. All right, he's uh has algorithm set up, all right, within this system of society, all right, so they can track, all right, what websites you go into, what you do, where you go, all right, you everything, all right, Esau has done is to uh, all right, is to invade your privacy, all right, to be he because he has that godlike complex, man, thinking he thinking himself to be the most high, all right, he wants to know everything, man, all right, from what you where you go. All right, to what to what your to what your thought is. All right, so that's what these damn devils want, man. This is just showing you, all right, the wickedness of Esau, man. He has no, he he has no. Salak you. All right, he has no respect, man. All right, he don't need he don't need he wants. To, all right, Esau, right, you got the lower Esau and you got the uh, top national banking family, man. Even in the blessing, all right, the lower Edomites, man. And can't even enjoy their blessing, man. The only thing they can enjoy, all right, is that white supremacy that they have that now. All right, but really, you still got Edomites in poverty because the elites don't share all right, that wealth with their own people, man. So how much more are you Israelites? All right, these Edomites don't care. They don't even care for themselves, man. All right, so they want to chip everybody, man, their own people as well. 
All right, they they even gonna chip themselves, man. That's just showing you Esau Edom and how he don't care. All right, so let me get this last scripture and we gonna end it off here. All right, so this is Revelation thirteen and sixteen. All right, start at verse fifteen. And he had power to give life and unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as when I worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he, uh, verse 16, and he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six. All right, so if you take this mark of the beast, man, I mean, if you take that RFID chip, all right, you're going to be able to buy. But if you don't, you're not going to be able to do that, man. As it says in uh, verse 17, and then no man might buy or sell. So if you don't have that chip, all right, you're not going to be able to buy or sell anything, man. All right, and that's just showing you. All right, so if you don't get that ch uh, microchip, you're an outcast within society. All right, because you're not going to be able to ha uh, have a house, a car, because they're going to take all those things away if you don't get that microchip. All right, but... Ultimately, you should not want to get that microchip, man, because one, if you do, or you going you might as well just sign your name on a nuclear missile, man, because right, that's what's going to happen to those that take that chip. They're going to be destroyed by the uh, ICBM missiles that are going to be launched over over to uh, America, all right, which is the Babylon the Great. All right. So, but with that, Yahweh Tzad, this video has been edifying, and again, I'd like to give all praise, honey, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah HaKwadash, and double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that rule well and teach well. And sincere salutations to all the Akiyam out there pushing this truth and sincerity to wake up the whole full elect. Shalom, what a bad